Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to cover the creation of grid shapes in PointWise. If we go to the Create menu and scroll down to Draw Shapes and select a shape, in this case, I'll select a box, you'll notice that there is a new entity type called Grid. And with that selected, I can choose from one of three grid types. Structured, allowing me to create a box shape type unstructured, allowing me to create all of the different shape types, and then voxel, which is available if you have an overset grid assembler selected. So let's start with structured. The shape creation tools are the same as for database and source shapes that we've covered in the past, meaning you can type in the parameters or you can sketch them interactively. So I'll go ahead and sketch a structured box on the screen. And you'll notice that I have a structured block. Now, if you don't have a dimension or average grid spacing specified in the defaults panel, the draw shapes command will automatically dimension the connectors for you. If we go ahead and switch over to unstructured, you'll notice I can create all of the different shape types from polygons to boxes to cylinders and even spheres. So let's go ahead and create an unstructured box. We'll go ahead and sketch that in the scene as well. And similarly to the structured case, the unstructured case is dimensioned automatically in the absence of a dimension or average grid spacing default. We can create the other grid shapes as well. So I can go ahead and create a cylinder. And I can even create a sphere. Now this tool is really handy for defining refinement regions and point matched and overset cases, but also for defining far field grid topologies like a sphere around an object or a box around an object. And that's how you can create grid shapes in PointWise. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.